from a rare dinosaur embryo to hidden life under the Antarctic ice shelf. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifics. I am Mohana Basu and every week on the Prince Scientifics, I talk about some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. In a first, scientists have discovered a rare fossil of a well-preserved dinosaur embryo in southern China. While many fossilized dinosaur eggs and nests have been found over the last century, finding one with a well-preserved embryo inside is exceedingly rare. By analyzing the fossil, researchers found that oviraptorosaurs, a group of theropods closely related to birds, took on a distinctive tucking position before they hatched, a behavior that had been considered unique to birds. It raises the possibility that tucking behavior may have evolved first among non-avian theropods during the Cretaceous period. Usually, dinosaur embryos are incomplete with skeletons scattered, which is why the team was surprised to see this embryo preserved inside a dinosaur egg lying in a bird-like posture. This posture had not been recognized in non-avian dinosaurs before. It had been acquired by a Chinese museum in 2000, but it then ended up in storage, largely forgotten until about 10 years later, when museum staff sorted through boxes and unearthed the fossils. The notion that such pre-hatching behavior may have originated among non-avian theropods can now further be investigated through more studies of other fossil embryos. But first, the researchers say they'll continue studying this rare specimen in even more depth using various imaging techniques to image its internal anatomy such as skull bones and other body parts that are still covered in raw. Also this week, scientists have for the first time managed to measure the oscillations in the brightness of a neutron star known as a magneta during its most violent moments. In just a tenth of a second, the magneta released energy equivalent to that produced by the sun in 100,000 years. Neutron stars are objects that can contain half a million times the mass of the Earth in a diameter of about 20 kilometers. Magnetars are a type of neutron stars that have the most intense magnetic field known. The observation has been carried out automatically using an artificial intelligence system developed at the University of Valencia. Magnetars suffer violent eruptions that are still little known due to their unexpected nature and their duration of barely tenths of a second. Detecting them is a challenge for science and technology since only 30 magnetars have been discovered so far. But researchers have managed to measure pulses in the brightness of this magnetar during its most violent moments. These episodes are a crucial component in understanding giant magnetar eruptions, which has been debated during the past 20 years. Meanwhile, scientists at MIT have designed a hovering rover that can explore the moon and other such airless cosmic bodies. The rover works by harnessing the moon's natural charge. Due to the lack of an atmosphere, moon and other cosmic bodies can build up an electric field through direct exposure to the sun and surrounding plasma. On the moon, this surface charge is strong enough to levitate dust more than one meter above the ground, just like how static electricity can cause a person's hair to stand on end. Researchers have proposed harnessing this natural surface charge to levitate a glider with wings made of mylar, a material that naturally holds the same charge as surfaces on airless bodies. The reason that the similarly charged surfaces should repel each other with a force that takes the glider off the ground. But such a design would likely be limited to small asteroids as larger planetary bodies would have a stronger counteracting gravitational pull. The MIT team's levitating rover could potentially get around this limitation. The concept uses tiny iron beams to both charge up the vehicle and boost the surface's natural charge. The overall effect is designed to generate a relatively large repulsive force between the vehicle and the ground in a way that requires very little power. 
In an initial feasibility study, the researchers show that such an iron boost should be strong enough to levitate a small two-pound vehicle on the moon and large asteroids like Psyche. Also this week, researchers at the University of Basel have discovered a previously overlooked section of our jaw muscles and described this layer in detail for the very first time. The masseter muscle is the most prominent of the jaw muscles. If you place your fingers on the back of your cheeks and press your teeth together, you will feel the muscles tighten. Anatomy textbooks generally describe the masseter as containing one superficial and one deep part. Now researchers have described the structure of the masseter muscle as consisting of an additional third, even deeper layer. They propose that this layer be given the name musculus masseter par corintia, which means coronoid section of the masseter. The anatomical study was based on detailed examination of formalin fixed jaw musculature, CT scans and the analysis of stained tissue sections from deceased individuals who had donated their bodies to science. This was in addition to MRI data from a living person. The structure of the masseter muscle has already raised questions in the past. In a previous edition of The Craze Anatomy, from the year 1995, the editors also described the masseter muscle as having three layers, although the cited studies were based on jaw musculature of other species and partly contradict one another. Also this week, researchers have discovered a trove of marine life hidden far beneath the ice shelves of the Antarctic. Despite occupying nearly 1.6 million square kilometers, ice shells are amongst the least explored environments on Earth. Life has been seen in these perpetual dark and cold habitats on camera, but has rarely been collected. Using hot water, a team of researchers from Germany drilled two holes through nearly 200 meters of the Ekstrom ice shelf in the southeastern Weddell Sea in 2018. The environment is harsh and extremely cold, with temperatures dropping to minus 2.2 degrees Celsius. Despite being several kilometers from the open sea, the biodiversity of the specimen they collected was extremely rich. In fact, the researchers said that it is richer than many open water samples found on the continental shelf where there is light and food sources. The team discovered 77 species, including saber-shaped bryozoans, which are moss animals, and serpulid worms, more than previously known from this entire environment. The team concludes there must be enough algae carried under the ice shelf from open water to fuel a strong food web. Microscopy of samples showed that surprisingly, annual growth of four of the species was comparable with similar animals in open marine Antarctic shelf habitats. The team also notes that with climate change and the collapse of ice shelves, time is running out to study and protect these ecosystems. This is Mona Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box.